Hello, and welcome to this overview of course reserves in WorldCat Discovery. Course reserves allows your staff to designate materials as reserved and allows patrons to search for those courses and view those reserved materials in your collection. In this video, we'll see how to access and activate course reserves, manage course reserves content, and explore how users interact with course reserves materials. To work with course reserves, staff will require either the course reserves maintainer or course reserves manager role. To assign this role, we will begin from the WorldShare admin tab. We'll locate the user to whom we'd like to assign these roles and navigate down to the roles accordion. We'll then click on edit. and locate the course reserves roles. Select the information button to learn about each role and then assign the desired role by clicking the checkbox. Then click save. To activate course reserves, Begin by accessing your institution's service configuration. Navigate to WorldCat Discovery and WorldCat Local, and then User Interface Options. Under General Display Settings, find Display Course Reserves. Then, toggle to Display. You may also take this opportunity to explore the OPAC Statuses, Locations, and Circulation Policies section of Service Configuration. Here, I'll first associate course reserves with a shelving location. And next, I'll ensure that my OPAC status messages for that location reflect in the way that I prefer. Now that my roles and display settings have been established, course reserves now appears on the navigation bar in the WorldCat Discovery interface to the right of the advanced search. Click this link to begin working with course reserves. To create a course, click on the Create a Course button below the search box. The Course Details screen now appears. Enter a course name, as well as any additional details desired. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save Course. The course now appears in the list of courses. The gear icon next to the course allows staff to reserve materials for the course, edit the course details, duplicate, or delete the course. Here, we'll select Reserve Course Materials. Note that the top of the WorldCat Discovery interface now displays a banner informing the staff member that they are currently reserving course materials for the selected course. There are two ways to add materials to a course. The staff member may search the catalog to add permanent bibliographic materials, which is the screen currently displayed, or add temporary materials by selecting View Temporary Materials. First, we'll search the catalog for an item we know is currently in the collection. Use the search box to locate the desired item, Then, click Reserve under the cover art. A confirmation message appears and the material is added to the course. Next, continue searching for materials in the catalog, browse the temporary materials, or, when finished, click I'm done reserving materials. This time, we'll browse temporary materials. Staff can create and manage access to temporary materials in course reserves. This feature enables users to find books, media, or other materials that a library may not wish to permanently add to its collection for circulation. Beginning from the temporary materials view of course reserves, we can browse materials that have already been created, or we can create a new temporary material. Click Create Temporary Material to display the details screen. 
Provide a title and any other desired details. When finished, scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save Material. The Course Reserve screen appears with a confirmation message. We also now see the temporary material that we created. From here, we can now reserve the material. When finished, select I'm done reserving materials. For items in the permanent collection that have been added to course reserves, staff will need to locate these materials in the collection and place on reserves following the necessary procedures in your circulation system, such as changing the shelving location of the item. For temporary items, like the one we just created together, we can also create temporary circulation records in our circulation systems. In this example, we'll use WorldShare Circulation to accomplish this task. Creating temporary circulation records for the temporary records and course reserves that we created can be accomplished in a few simple steps. From the Discover Items accordion, I'll enter a barcode in accordance with my library policies. I'll then click Go to generate a temporary record. I'll retain temporary item as the item type and fill in the rest of the details accordingly. When finished, click Create Item. Now that I have a barcode for this item, I'll copy the barcode, and I'll then return to Course Reserves. Here, I can find the corresponding temporary item and add a note. I'll then place this barcode in the Note field. This barcode can now easily be referenced by staff when checking out the item. I'll then click Save Note. Course reserves may be searched by either course or instructor. Users may then refine their search, sorting by course name, department, instructor, or start date. Reserved materials are displayed in alphabetical order with special characters first in the list. Users may then access the materials as desired. For further information on WorldCat Discovery, please visit help.oclc.org. For any queries not answered by documentation, please contact OCLC Support by clicking the Contact OCLC Support link found at the top of the page. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.